he said warm up, so I warmed up. But they're throwing bananas and all this sort of thing at me. You can't let people like that dictate to you, otherwise you're never going to make a career. Number two. Oh, he's done it nicely. And while it's in there, and good cover. Nice run by Anderson. Right, this is Dad's scrapbook. Look at the shorts. <laughs> the shorts. This is me when I was an apprentice. I think I was 17 when this picture was taken. And not long afterwards, I made my debut for Nottingham Forest. There wasn't many black faces around in them days. <laughs> Next page, my debut for England. How did it feel to be the first black player to play? It was a big thing at the time. And I got a, a telegram from the Queen and Elton John. Have you heard of Elton John? Yeah. Have you heard of the Queen? Yeah. Good. <laughs> 1982 World Cup team in Spain. And I was the only, the only black face there because I'd made oh, my yeah. debut earlier. Did you feel like you were accepted in the squad? Yeah, because I'd been in the squads throughout that year. So it's not as if I'd just been called up for this one squad. Yeah. They all became great, great mates, in fact. What was it like coming through as one of the only black players in the game? I was lucky being born and bred in Nottingham. They never thought of me being black. They just viv. Really? Well, how would you like deal with people shouting stuff at you in the crowd or anything like that at the time when you were that young? Listen, I was I had a really good manager called Brian Clough. Right. He said warm up, so I warmed up and I was back sat down within two minutes. I said they're throwing bananas and all this sort of thing at me. Yeah. He said, uh, get back out there and get me a banana and an apple. <laughs> and then afterwards, which is quite funny, I, mean, we d I did laugh, but afterwards he said, you can't let people like that dictate to you, otherwise you're never going to make a career. Everything else was dismissed and I just got on with playing football. He says, you're here because you can play football. You've got to show everybody what a good player you are. So yeah. I never, ever worried me after that. Yeah. The current England squad, how it's transformed from when the pictures that we saw early on, yeah. there was only one black face. Now you've got one, two, three, four, five. How do you feel because now all these black players are playing for England? Very proud. To be very first at anything is really great achievement. Hopefully they've seen me play and thinking, I want to be like him and I want to play for England. We'll have more and more black players playing for England. What do you think, both of you, when you hear stories like that? I feel like like you had to put up with that by playing football. Yeah. You feel like really proud that you got through that and then made on to make a career out of football and did really well and played for England. So it's like good to inspire you to you can do whatever you want.